All right, welcome to my little low budget uh, video. So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I've got a pizza party coming up next Monday. That's in, today is Friday. I'm gonna be making about 24 balls of dough and I just got some new bags of flour and I don't know how the new, it's flour I've used before. It's Trailblazer from Karen Spring Flour Mills. Um, but every new bag acts a little bit different than the previous bags. So what I need to do is figure out what hydration level um, this new bag of flour is gonna act like. So what I did is I've made um, enough for, what is this? This is about a thousand grams, 200, uh, 260 grams each. So there's four in here. So, okay, it's more than a thousand grams, whatever, excuse me. Um, and these are at 70%. And I am just going to go grab some flour real quick. But basically what I'm doing is I'm just making a test batch to see if I need to up the hydration or lower the hydration for Monday's events. So just did this in my uh, KitchenAid stand. You know what? I don't even need this breadboard. I don't know why I brought it out. All I need is wet hands. All I'm doing is kneading it right now. But tomorrow, I will show all the kneading and stuff. But since I'm just doing everything in bulk right now, um, all you need to do, you, don't, you just take it out, flop it around. Don't need to do anything. It's, it feels pretty good right now. Uh, it's 70%, maybe a little bit too high. I might bring it down to 69 or 70 or something like that. But as you can see, it's already getting pretty smooth. There we go. I also used, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Salt. Very coarse granulated salt for this. Um, I'm trying something new. Usually I use finer uh, what is it called? Gray salt, French gray salt. Um, for it, but for this, I'm also going to use. I don't know why I'm still needing this. It's done. Um, you can sort of see it poking out. Can you see that right there? A little bit of salt. It isn't completely absorbed. And the idea is that um, sometimes bakers, and myself included, will add the salt later on after the dough has had some time to rest with the yeast or the starter or what or what have you. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of playing with the idea of maybe I'll use coarser grain salt and it'll it'll sort of absorb itself over time. Um, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I've done it once before and it turned out pretty good. Um, anyway, so I'm just gonna put this back in. Might need it again in an hour, but anyway. That's, that's it, that's, that's what I'm showing you right now.